So we were talking earlier, Eminem, okay, so MGK, Machine Gun Kelly came out with a song, this and Eminem. Eminem replied, the song to me was good, but everybody is saying he's doing too much because he keeps going on interviews, explaining himself. And he posts every day. Okay, but that's <laughs> not his fault. I don't see I don't what like Eminem it. has done wrong. Okay, he didn't yeah. put himself up as the greatest. We did. We're saying that he's the greatest. I don't think so, but yeah. We're, I mean, so. but we put him on his platform. Yeah. So now he's, he's the greatest def- white rapper. So ever now he's defending like his position and yeah. everybody's mad at him. Like, what do y'all want him to do? If he don't say nothing, everybody's going to say he something. Being soft. Yeah. If he does say something, everybody's going to say something. Yeah. But the part that got me was when Jay Electronica sent out a tweet. I heard about that. So what do you say? So in the song, Eminem mentions the fact that, you know, he shot, he took a shot at him like, yeah, whatever, whatever you're doing is like me calling the cops saying that Puffy set up Pac. But he also said in there that, you know, he was kissing Rihanna, left hickeys, hickeys on her neck. Like, it's all, it's a, it's a song. Like, that's what he said. It was, you know what I mean? Like, it's a song. Like, and he said he was joking about the he, shit at the end. I mean, but gotcha. everybody for a year or so ago came back out with this conspiracy theory that Puffy had Pac set up. That's just been going around the tabloids ever since mm-hmm. it happened. It goes back, it comes back, it goes back, it comes back. So he mentioned it in his song. He, he, he said a lot of shit. But at the end of the day, it was a song. I don't think he really meant that he was going to do that. So Jay Electronica caught on to that, and he says, you know, how could y'all let him? Let me read the tweet. But anyway, Jay Electronica ain't going to do shit because he didn't even make his own songs yet. Where's his songs at? Hey, we still waiting on Jay, man. He's like the rap unicorn. Like, <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, he once. keeps saying what he's going to do, facts. and we know lyrically he can do this. Yeah. The dude is dope. Like, I was a big Jay Electronica fan. I really look forward to these projects that have never come out yet. Yeah. So, I'm now, I'm just like, yo, shut up. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. If you're not going to come out with some shit, don't go there. I feel you. But. um, I don't know, though. It's just that for me, as a younger fan, I don't get why Mm -hmm. M is talking so much now. Like, when he started doing interviews. Well, because y'all called him out. I think that he's getting too emotional. That's what it is. Because I think that now he's getting older. And I feel like rappers, you know, everybody competes, and he sees how Jay's doing. Jay, he quiet, and he's still doing this thing at the same time. So I think that for Eminem to be trying to entertain somebody that's my age, I find that it's, it's sad. Okay. Like, I don't get it. This is what he said. Eminem, how dare you accuse Diddy of killing Tupac? He didn't do that. While you completely look past Jimmy Iovine and those who profited from his death. Jimmy Iovine did profit from that, though. You best tread carefully, son, before I come tear your ivory tower down like Solomon done to the Templar Knights. That was deep, bro. My boy, he did a little history lesson right there. That was nice. But that's what he does. I mean, he's a smart guy. Yeah. You know, you see, he a 5%. Uh, yeah. Jay Electronic t- uh, tweeted that Words of 5-9 came out. <laughs> and basically told him about his business before he did it. Wow. So, right. Wow. He coming from the whole crew. So that, I mean... Me personally, I can't say I ever listened to Jay Electronica. So yeah. I don't know how dope he is. Dude. No, he's dope. He's dope. But if him and Royce the Five Nines go back and forth, I, I'll be entertained. I don't want to hear that. And Royce and Jay? Royce, man, he's very underrated, yeah. too. Royce, cool. Royce he's nice. very underrated. Royce, nice. But, I mean, just the fact that Jay Electronica does all this <laughs> and he doesn't come out with any records, that alone was just, like, kill him. Yeah. Like, if Royce just boy brings – like, all, <coughs> all he got to say is – where have, you, who are, where have you been? Who are you? Like, That's where facts. you come from? Like, you come out, you make all these promises. You got and Jay-Z, gave you the chain. You know what I mean? I think there was a time when everybody was hyped because it looked like Jay was gone. That was like 2016. I remember that because <laughs> he was saying that he was about to drop his album. And uh, he was on uh, the coloring book uh, with Chance. I remember that. And then now he's nowhere to be found again. Like, he'll show up, he'll disappear, he'll show up again. So, that's just how he is. Um... You said that you don't get how he can come for somebody your age, whatever. He came for him, though. Like, he's got to respond but to everyone. It's MGK, bro. Like, Jay Black, like tell MGK. me am I tripping? Hey, him him first. Him him first. Okay. I think, I mean, he said that little line that MGK made the whole song. Right. About his daughter, too. He, he talked about his daughter. Right. He talked about his daughter. I, again, though, I think that once you reach a certain status, somebody else's opinion about you shouldn't even matter no I more. Think, man, I really. I don't think Eminem was wrong. Yeah. I, I just feel like, and we talked about, I think it was last week or the week before, the older rappers trying to find their place in this hip hop now. Exactly. It's like the, the shit that worked for you 
early in your career that yeah. you're successful is really not working no but more. why like, does with Nicki Minaj like that shit that Barbie shit it's time to put that shit to rest it's and look she's right. spazzing out too <laughs> that's my point like these people aren't I'm comfortable and that's why I'm lightweight nervous like I always say like Wayne my favorite artist but he gonna scare you he dropping the quarter five yeah Friday. he might scare you I don't think it's gonna do as good yep it's core fan base gonna listen to it but I don't think it's gonna connect with that other crowd because Nowadays, like in order to connect, you gotta do those. You gotta have those gimmicks. You gotta do some wild shit. And, I don't and you gotta, hooks. you have to you gotta be have dating some somebody in the industry you know, or a reality day, star. I, and I see it. I see it already. Wayne's still doing a traditional role. Like right. He he did the little Bill right. interview. Right. Right. Not doing that no more. Like you know, back in the day, they start off with a single. Yeah. Worked the single for a minute. Yeah. Then they'll they get arrested press. or OD. Or like not. it's a part of the whole process. The oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, that's that's the have a press right. run. Are they a troll or yeah, you right. Type of beef. Yeah. But back in the day, you know, you put your single out, you work your single, you do your little media run and all, but that ain't how it is. But I nowadays. think, yep. but if he hooks up with a chick in, in like a reality yeah. person, yeah. yeah, he's done all that's that too. That's, that's but that's what they do. Like, what's her name? Cash Doll. Now she's dating one of the somebody one of the amigos or something like yeah. that's what come like a, as a party look at the cardi look at the cardi for, uh, for it's me. a business move it's that's how they it's a business right. move that's it but i think MGK, m now mgk got an album coming out but that's but my that's point promo. Look, my thing is this that was promo for him i think this is just another example of how white people are <laughs> they probably set this whole shit up you right you never know white it's been a lot of it's these last two weeks, it's been a G-Eazy lot. G-Eazy going with MGK. Now, a lot of spots. Yeah. No, I thought he was with Eminem. Look, no, both. Listen, listen, <laughs> yeah. The G-Eazy shit, the yeah. MGK shit, the Eminem <laughs> shit. Yeah. God bless his soul, the Mac Miller shit. Yeah. Like, I didn't think about that. Shit, <laughs> it's getting bright. Yeah, it's getting bright. Takashi. Yeah. <laughs> he part of the yeah, fam. Yeah. Um, and it's crazy because Eminem, uh, when he was with Sway, he was saying that from his past album, uh, Revival, I think, he was saying that the biggest lesson that he learned was not having his album be highly anticipated because then people already come in with the mindset of, it's, oh, it's, it's be better so be dope. fire if this one song, if I don't feel it. So then, exactly. So then he said that from this past album, Kamikaze, he said, I'm going to just post it out of nowhere so then it'll be no expectations. And I think that M, he was frustrated because his past album, Revival, it was trash. So seeing that, I think that he's trying to find his place. Jay Black, you already said that too. So that's why I'm like, he shouldn't be talking so much because he should just let his album speak for itself because he's too old to be beefing with somebody like MGK. Why is everybody, don't ever say, let me tell you, Look, let me show y'all something. when I say too something. old, I'm saying like he's too seasoned, like he's a legend. Right. MGK does so not deserve your attention. So he shouldn't have to defend his position. That's what I'm saying. Right. Exactly. But the position that he has, that's we it. gave him. He right. never, he was never the type to come out and be like, yo, because I'm the best. And he the, 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 the rap god. He did. He had MGK to. MGK even said no, that in the diss song. started coming no, for him. That's what he's been calling himself. Yeah. Yeah. He's been calling himself. And that's MGK, he referenced that in the, MGK, in the diss track. He's rap devil. Right. Yeah. He was playing on that. I'm just telling you, man. Because well, I feel like M, in that interview, I've never seen him that emotional. Like, on his songs, he gets that emotional. But in an interview setting, he was getting, like, way too emotional. I've never seen the interview. Well, let that's me just mention saying. this real quick. He was getting quick, way because, too emotional in there. Um... The highest paid rappers list of 2018 came out, and out of the 12, six of them are over 40 years old. So we need to just recognize the, OG, the originators of the game. And Number are, 12 is yeah. Migos. Number 11, How DJ you put Khaled. All three in the same? <laughs> <laughs> Number 10 is Kanye West. Number 9 is Future. Number 8 is Pitbull. Number 7 is Nas. Number 6 is Dr. Dre. Number 5 is J. Cole. Number 4 is Drake. Number 3 is Kendrick Lamar. Number 2 is Diddy. Number 1 is Jay Z. So out of all of those people, the highest paid, um, Jay Z. I mean, that makes sense though. Seventy eight point yeah. five million. The Migos twenty four point five million. I would, I would hope. That makes sense. I that would, you. Yeah, I, would hate, I mean, I would hate to hear that the richest people in the hip hop community is just the young people. Yeah. Right? I would hope that it's. It's supposed older, to be that way. Yeah, it's supposed to be some yeah. OGs. That's that's you know. I feel like like I always say, your twenties is your grind years. Yep. Your thirties is the years you start getting on your feet. And your forties is when chill. You chill. Yeah. Everything in order. Yeah. And you supposed to really be get like I think with Warren Warren Buffett. Yeah. I don't think he made his first couple million until like he was like fifty years old. Wow. wow. That's what, it was like late in the game. It takes like, time. As long as it happens. Yeah, it takes I mean, time. We see these these outliers nowadays. We see the people making these millions in their twenties, but man, that's like one in a million. Yeah. That's one of them. It takes time to build this shit. Like you not everybody's not about getting a million in your twenties is like hitting a lot of. That's facts. People hit it, and I mean, just because they on TV, it seems like it's attainable for everybody. It, but, but it's not. 
Right. That's very true. And I think, again, with him, like, the fact that he worked so hard to, to have that earn is that, again. He shouldn't have to defend himself. And that's my point. He shouldn't have to. He shouldn't have to. That's what's going to happen with Wayne, though. I mean, you have to imagine Wayne is, like, the... People have been waiting. He's the epitome Growing of... Growing up, the, that was my favorite rapper, too, But this man, is what so I'm, I'm saying. What other generation of people can say that they've g- grown up with a rapper? Like, we, you got, we're the only ones. He has a core fan base. No matter yeah, what, he do. He do. He they're going to buy numbers. it. He's going to do his numbers. He's going to be fine. And look, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine money-wise, but I think... Like me as a fan of how is how is received Wayne to still be on top. Like yeah, Wayne to never be on top like he was. lyrically he was on a whole nother level. But without Wayne, we get no Young Money, no Drake, no Nicki. And I'll probably say Wayne between probably like oh three all the way up to like twenty twelve. He ran it. Oh my god, oh, he ran it. Especially after like twenty ten when he had Drake and Nicki, it was crazy. Like, but how much like, of that? Seven to like probably like two thousand twelve. But that was his second yeah, run, though. That, was his, that was his second run, though. He had a run with the Hot Boys. He had a run. Like, he's been having. He's already revived himself. He's had two primes. Right. He had the Hot Boy run. Right. Yeah. And then after the Hot Boys is when he started the first quarter. Yeah, right. all the Carter, and then Carter after, 2. Young after, Money. After the Carter 2 is when he went on his mixtape run. Yep. And then, you know. The drought, no ceilings, all that. And then Young Money came in. So, Wayne doesn't. Yeah. I don't even think he has to defend himself. I don't. He, yeah. I mean, I think that anything he does now is just gravy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially Wayne now that since he's getting his money that was due to him from his daddy. Like, yeah, he's he straight. It. And I Dang, think, I can't say daddy like that to another grown man. Well, he can because that man, that man <laughs> raised him. Like, I'm not even yeah. mad that he calls him his daddy. Yeah, like, he did. You know what yeah. I mean? They had their differences, but that all comes from a part of being ignorant. Business yeah. ignorant. Money ignorant. You know what I mean? Illiterate and I, when it comes to finance. Exactly. Yeah. So, anyway, um, I just uh, wanted to mention that. Just don't and sleep. Because you know, how old is Wayne? Wayne? Shout, he like 35. But shout out to Wayne. He, he, he's the sole owner. Yeah, of he has, what, like 51% now, right? Yeah, he's a, yeah, owner of Young Money. That's good. I don't know the details. Who signed I, to them anymore? Drake. Well, oh, Drake, Drake. No. I think he's just his last album. Is Nicki? It was Scorpion. He's still signed with, yep. with Young Money. So I don't know if he's. I don't know how it worked. I don't know if he got the rights to their music or what. But I'm man, sure. I'll tell you this. I wish, preferably, if Drake, Nicki, and Wayne could just make a mixtape or an album, an EP or something, just one last time, it would be crazy. It's always gonna be love though. They like yeah. they always show Wayne respect. Nicki and yeah. Drake. Yeah. Hey, you got to. You like, got to. You got even to. Even if Drake ain't signed to him, I feel like he yeah. always gonna show Wayne love. Like, yeah. No bad blood. Do you feel like Young Money was a top five rap group of all time? Or Hell a top no. ten? Hell no. Hell no. I think no. so. Of all time. You talk about Nicki like and Drake the Beastie and Wayne. Beastie Boys and Public yeah. Enemy. Numbers and, wise? You gotta think too, of all time? I, I gotta, you gotta say think so. Too, the rap groups are different now. Yeah. I don't consider them a group. Yeah. Beastie Boys was an actual group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an actual group. Right. right. Young Money was just a label. They was all on the same label. I would, I would compare Young Money to like what a Rough Riders. I was just about, about to say Rough Riders as well. What a Rockefeller was. You're right, right, right. Because they weren't necessarily a group. But they, was the they took it the was bad boy like they took the bad boy model yeah. and they recreated it yeah. trying to copy what they did especially with little Kim and Nicki Minaj mm-hmm. and it worked for them you yeah. know what I mean I mean and it's been try they've been trying to redo this and redo this and redo this for ages but baby had the formula and he, he did perfected that. it he because did that. Baby that, look we don't give baby enough credit Even we don't money yeah. this nigga didn't had from dirt game from bro. dirt the- he didn't had the rap game on lock since like 98 and now but till this day look the song cash money taking over for the nine nine, nine. he was for real they've been on top ever since then and they he have right. recreated themselves with different yes. people over and over and like bad boy like, tried to do bad boy tried like, that and they failed like they got they just got good artists they got the top artists they got wayne the top artists they got drake the top artists. Nicki minaj the top female or like and bro look r&b R&B wise, Jaquees, he signed the Cash Money. Yeah, he up and coming. I ain't really top. top yeah, 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 <laughs> but but <laughs> I'm just saying though, like he has all these like different facets. Yeah, he got R&B, young he got thug, rap, he was, Young Thug as well. He got his hand in a lot of like the, exactly. The young boy, NBA young boy. Rich homie at first. Rich homie when he yeah. first came out. So yeah, I completely agree. I mean, they agree. literally shoved their artists down your throat. Yeah. Like Definitely. you gonna listen to this shit? You gonna see this person? You gonna and it's good. It's working. And it's good. So I can't even fight it. I completely agree. Um.